at UMEX 2024. We, Army Air Condition Group, are covering the only defense exhibition focus on the unmanned systems in the Middle East. Today, for the day one, I will introduce you some companies, Gardaris from Slovenia, but also Skibel from Austria, and the Chinese company Flightwind Innovation Technology. Thank you, first of all, for allowing us to present our systems. Uh, what I would say, they are the future systems of simulation. What we present here on UMEX uh, is the LED wall with limitless capabilities to train the soldiers. Normally, what we do is train from the conscripts to the special forces, and until today, all the trainings were done via projection and laser-based training. It means you have a small little red dot and the information you get is hit or no hit. So what we did in the five years development is the system, it is fully patented, that gives you all informations why you hit and why you didn't hit. Even more um, in this era of uh, youngsters who are talking and speaking through these new social medias, there is more and more uh, requests that we put these young soldiers to the environment which gives them already indoor simulation, which gives them very good approach or very similar feeling that they would get it on the real terrain. So we are having the sound floor with the sound effects and with the shock effects that practically nobody has. They can freely move in this terrain. Uh, and what is the most important, they can communicate. The point is uh, that today, um, all other simulators are marksmanship simulators and you are shooting on the lines. So here you move, you change the positions. And you know, it was in the past, not in the past, today youngsters are rather send, sending WhatsApp message to the other guy than to, to say him, well, you didn't manage or you, you, you know, the full world, okay. So, um, what we did is we approached to needs of today and the future to put the young people in the arena that is fully immersive. So this is uh, our number one product that we are presenting here and beside it of course we are having the vehicle simulators, remote control weapon simulators, the remote control weapon simulators from all systems that you see here, yeah. there from Rafael, from Elbit, from Autocar, and we put this on the different vehicles that we produce also in-house, and everything what we do is based on Guardiari's simulation graphical engine. So we don't buy anything. We are developing the engine for 20 years, and we have the top-notch system, which is today uh, very important because the customers like they would like to have some specifics, they would like to have some changes, and you cannot do this with the big ones. What we do, um, if you want to have, I will explain you, just to have Excel sheet, you need to buy office. What we offer is Excel sheet, really, really determined based on your needs. Good morning, my name is Neil Hunter. I'm the head of sales for Schiebel. Schiebel is a privately owned Austrian company uh, based out of Vienna. And uh, as you can see, looking over my shoulder, we uh, build what we call the S100, the Camcopter S100, which is a, um, a vertical takeoff and landing unmanned system. Uh, the company has been uh, in operation for 70 years now. Um, we're still, still owned by our owner, Hans Schiebel, who is still our chairman and very much involved in the design, the technology of, of the product. Um, and to talk a little bit about the Camcopter, the S100 itself, as I said, it's a vertical takeoff. We're probably literally the only company in the world still that is in production with a mature product delivering it around the world to, to lots of different customers. Uh, we've built over 500 of the aircraft and we've sold to over 35 countries around the world and that includes land and maritime, so sea-based, and that's both the military and the commercial market. 
Uh, the helicopter itself, it's, um, it's a maximum takeoff weight of 200 kilograms. Uh, about 50% of that is its basic weight, and then the other uh, sort of 100 kilograms is mixed between the fuel and the sensors that we can carry. So in fuel terms, its standard endurance is between five and six hours, but we can add an external tank that'll take it up to 10 hours. Um, and then on the sensor, the capability side, the most important aspect, we carry um, up to 50 kilograms worth of payload. And that can be a mixture of payloads at, at, uh, at the same time. So we traditionally put what we call an EOIR, an electrical optical infrared camera, in the belly of the aircraft. And that has ranges out to sort of 30, 40 kilometers. Because one of the beauties about the helicopter is that we can carry a 10 inch ball, as we call it, camera, which means we can get a large camera, which means we can get very good resolution. Um, and then in, in parallel to that, we also have integrated various different radars. So we've, uh, we've integrated um, synthetic aperture radars that we've either put on the side payload to the aircraft or we've actually put them in the main belly of the aircraft itself. And then we've also integrated other sensors such as LIDARs, hyperspectrals. We've also recently been involved with trying to go to the, shall we call, to the next level. So we've got ourselves involved in anti-submarine warfare. So um, in September last year, we flew at a very large NATO conference down in Portugal called REPMUS, where all the NATO nations gather and they look at new technologies coming along. And during that exercise, we were able to show them our ability to drop sonar boys as part of anti-submarine warfare. We were showed that we could do what we call secondary roles, in other words, load lifting, underwater autonomous vehicles as an underslung load and then release them and drop them into the water as well. We were able with our LIDARs to actually fly out and detect mines below the surface. So we very much see ourselves as a, as a company that's always looking to go to the next stage in technical developments. So in other words, we've never stood still. We've never just been a, what we call an ISR, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance capability. We're always looking to get involved in all the other areas that are coming along at the moment. So I think that's probably a brief summary of, of us. Um, where's our sort of USP unique selling point? Probably in the maritime domain because obviously as a, as a helicopter, we've proven that we can um, land on single spot flight decks, as they're called, on ships ranging from, from fisheries protection all the way up to sort of uh, aircraft carriers. So with the French, for example, we actually operate off their helicopter carriers. Uh, last year, we won a contract with the British Royal Navy, uh, where we're operating off a Type 23 frigate. Um, so uh, we're very active out there in the market. Um, you know, I know your guys are from Belgium. We, we've been looking at what the Belgians and the Dutch have been doing in the NMCM program, and we're keeping an eye on that to see if maybe an opportunities might develop because we believe we have the right product for, for also at that level of mine detection, mine warfare in European NATOs as well. And then I think to finish why we're here in UMEX. So we actually started our journey here in the UAE um, back in 2005, I think. So, so um, Abu Dhabi was our, was our first ever contract. So they have a lot of our systems, which they use primarily in the military domain, so land and maritime. Um, and you know, so we've always maintained very good relationships with this part of the world. Um, and actually, we see lots of opportunities here to grow in the Middle East. So we do have other customers in the region. You know, to be honest, it's sort of, shall we say, the centre of the world. So it's a place where lots of people come and gather. So it's a very important exhibition for us, showcasing our product. And then maybe just to finish, we're very much showing what we call the S100 here today. But we're actually now building the S300, which will be three times bigger than, than, the, than the aircraft you can see over my shoulder. So it'll have a maximum endurance of 24 hours if you're carrying up to about 50, 80 kilograms of payload. But actually we can change that round and put up to 250 kilograms of payload, uh, bring our endurance probably down to about six hours. And we've just won our first contract for the S300 in Asia, leave it like that for now. So we're very much starting our journey with the S300. And one of the prime advantages of being an aircraft that's 600 kilograms is we can then seriously get involved in the likes of anti-submarine warfare, whether that's communications relay, whether that's carrying lots of sonar boys, um, and then also carrying what I would call a true proper large maritime radar as well. So Yes, been building S-115 years, been very successful. The market looks good for us in the future, but we're now going to the next step with the S-300. So exciting times.
my name is Chen. I'm from China Flat Wind. We are from Beijing, and uh, we established in 2008. We produce heavy lift uh, unmanned helicopters. This is our core business. First of all, this is our, also our I mean, main product. Uh, this one, the takeoff weight is one ton, and the net payload weight is 300 kg, and the endurance time is five hours. The range is 600 to 700 kilometers. So this is also, I think, in the same uh, sector of the industry, it's also the very big one. The cruise, uh, cruise the speed is 120 to 140 uh, kilometers per hour, and the maximum uh, speed is 160. What I'm saying is because uh, the engine is modified by ourselves and uh, also for the rotor and for the blade and uh, even for the flight control system are made by ourselves and uh, the power is very big for, I mean, for the engine. That's why it can carry I mean, more than 300 kg payload. And uh, also what I'm saying is almost 85 a uh, percent of the components are made by ourselves, so the cost is very low. So that's why we think it's also very much competitive. It's in service for almost uh, two years. It's very mature, I mean, for the commercial service. It's especially for the emergency rescue and uh, for the logistics and also for the fire extinguish. This is our flagship product. Now I think it's the biggest I mean, unmanned helicopter in the sector, yes. Uh, the takeoff weight is 2.5 tons, and uh, the net payload weight is one ton, okay? And uh, also the cruise speed is 120, and the range is 600, and the service ceiling is 6,500 meters. It can carry yeah. one ton scoots and uh, also six wounded people okay. for medical, so for medical care, yes. Because uh, we just uh, serviced in China, we hope to go abroad, I mean, to just do business yeah. uh, outside, I mean, the overseas. We, we also hope to uh, find a local partner, even UAE, okay. to set up a joint venture or a factory. Okay. We can also assemble the, the helicopters locally. Yes, okay. yeah, we hope to do that.